One evening, I became very concerned that maybe I wasn't living my life well enough. And what did a well-lived life even mean? And so I consulted a primer called An Introduction to Philosophy. And in the very first paragraph, it mentions kind of offhand that Socrates did not read or write. He did all of his philosophizing in the public square. I closed the browser right then. I realized the public square was where the action was. So I went to a bar near my neighborhood that I always go to, and they were deep into karaoke night. And the MC saw me and she said, should I queue up Cindy Lauper's time after time like usual? And I said, no, I've got something more important. And then I thought about it, I said, actually, yes. And I sang my little heart out. But then after that, I got back on track and I asked the MC, how do you think that we can tell whether we're living our lives well enough? And she said, finally, you're flirting with well, we had a whirlwind romance, and the MC and I immediately had four kids in three years. Our fertility was the stuff of legend. No twins either. It just went boom, 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 vasectomy. And it was all very fulfilling and very consuming. But still, I wondered about a life well lived. And so when the youngest of my kids turned four, I gathered all the kids into a room, and I said, one of your chores this year, in addition to keeping your rooms clean, is to figure out what makes a life good and then report back to me. Once a month, I check in with them on the project and they always say that they're still working on it. But honestly, that's fine. Just knowing that my kids are on the case puts me at peace. Because you know, I feel like a good philosopher philosophizes, but a great philosopher delegates.